After seven long months, after losing over 50 pounds, dropping from 34% body fat to 7% body fat, hundreds of cardio sessions, hours upon hours of posing, training seven days a week, missing birthdays, missing family functions, all for this one day, all for five minutes on stage, to sit in front of a complete stranger and have them judge all the hard work that you put in. This is bodybuilding. It's show day. I'm ready. Hope you're ready. Strap in. Let's go. All right, so that is how we are looking as of right now. Um, weight dropped down to 206 this morning. We weighed in at 212 at the venue. So water weight is definitely straightening off. We're getting a lot tighter, which is a good thing. So time to send over pictures of coach. That way we can see what the game plan is for the day. So once I get updated, I'll update you guys. All right, so this is meal number one. We got three ounces of tilapia, 60 grams of oatmeal, topped with a half a banana, four rice cakes. We got eight ounces of water, and we're gonna take our 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C. We're gonna get this meal in and then touch bases with coach, see what we need to do, because we need to head out to the venue in about an hour and a half, um, so that way we can go get our tan touched up again, and then we have an athletes meeting at seven o'clock. And after that, it's, it's go time. So go ahead and get this meal in and then I'll touch base with you guys in a little bit. All right, so we had to go through the uncomfortable part again and we had to get our tan touched up, but that is all done. Now we are about to head over to the venue and get this show on the road. We are back from wrapping up pre-judging. All in all, great experience. A little bit of nerves when I first got on stage when I went through um, basically like my little mandatory routine by myself. But then when they brought us out to the lineups, I felt good. I was comfortable. Um, there are a few little tweaks that I've seen from a couple photos and videos that I need to change when we go into finals. Um, mainly just in my hamstrings, making sure that my hamstrings are flexed the whole entire time. But, you know, just a lot of small little details that I forgot while going through posing. But, you know, now that the nerves are out of the way and I feel good um, and I'm confident in this now, coming into finals, I'm going to bring a whole different beast. You know what I mean? But right now we're going to just relax. Uh, we got 150 grams of jasmine rice, three ounces of tilapia. We're going to eat this, send check-ins to coach in about two hours or so, and then get the word on if we need to go get a burger or not. But we came in nice, we came in conditioned, we came in full, so no complaints there. Um, just gotta see where we land at when it come down to finals tonight. But we'll go ahead and eat, relax, and then I will get in with you guys once I hear back from coach. What is up guys? So it is currently 12.30. Um, we need to be back to the venue by 3.30 to get our tan touched up. And then we go back on stage at six o'clock. So right now, just trying to get everything put together. So get my meals that I need to bring with me to the venue, put together, make sure I got everything this time. I actually left my bands. So I had to borrow some from somebody backstage to pump up and it really wasn't the best of bands. So make sure we have our bands this time. Coach, um, so right now I sent over check in as a coach. So we are having 200 grams of jasmine rice, three ounces of tilapia, 15 grams of almond butter. We got six ounces of water and also a banana going down for this meal. We're gonna have this and then just finish up relaxing for the next couple of hours because I am exhausted. Like I said, we went to sleep around like 11.30 last night and woke up at two o'clock this morning and been up since then. Um, I just took a little nap right now, but really didn't do much, so I'm exhausted. But nonetheless, I know what we need to do tonight. Um, 
the jitters, the nerves, everything is out now. And I just feel like I'm ready to step on stage with confidence and really show my package to the best of my ability. So um, that's the game plan going into the night. I got a lot of feedback and, you know, a lot of feedback was that, you know, I did good. I stood tall like a statue, like posing was good, conditioning was good, fullness was good. So just going to the show with confidence now, now that the nerves are out. So trying to, trying to bring a whole different mentality to the stage tonight. And we'll just see where I go. We'll see what we can do tonight. But I'm going to go ahead and get this meal in, get some get some rest, relax for a little bit, and then head back in for us to do our touch-ups. And then i touch bases with you guys at some point today. So it is the day after the show. I've had a little time to process everything, get some food in me because, you know, I couldn't think for a while, but had some time to process and, you know, kind of get control of my emotions. So now I want to come on here and just kind of like talk to you guys and give you guys a little recap of, you know, what happened, what went wrong, things like that. Right. So we end up taking fifth out of eight competitors. So, um, yeah, which is. We placed, you know, we know what we need to work on, but, you know, contradictory, do I feel like I should have took fifth? Honestly, no. I feel like I should have been at least third because some of the guys that were before me, I do feel like I brought a better package to the stage. And I also got feedback that I did bring a better package to the stage and a few people. But, you know, it all come down to what the judges are looking for that day. And my physique just wasn't what they was looking for. Um, a lot of feedback that I got from people that are in the bodybuilding industry is that I need to fill out my frame more so i need to put more size on my frame which is understandable me dropping down from 265 pounds to 206 pounds on stage and i did that within a span of six to seven months you know which is a lot so i did lose a lot of size you know of course muscle is going to go away as well and that's that's just what it is you know so my goal now is just to take a off season for about a year and then compete again i'm gonna i'm gonna keep going so my goal is to do like another two or three shows but right now, I just need to really just fill out my frame. So take a complete off season and just focus on just growth. I know the areas that I need to grow in, and that's the that's the things that I'm going to be focusing on. But overall, I had a great experience with this. You know, the show was a little different because it was a pro and an amateur show, and they ended up having over a hundred pros show up. So you know, it got kind of hectic when it came down to how the show was ran. So. We made a couple of mistakes in prejudging with our posing, and I know that hurt me. But, you know, I thought we had time to make it up for finals when we did our comparison rounds, but we ended up not doing a comparison round in the finals. We ended up just going through our solo routine, and basically that was it. So it wasn't no time to even make up for the mistakes that we did in the morning, you know. But it is what it is. First show's down. Um, like I said, I enjoyed it. I was excited. I got those jitters out, you know. Now I know what it feels like. I know what it takes. So now it's just, it's just about going harder. That's all it is. Just about going harder. No excuses. Um, I brought the best package to the stage that I could. You know, I've, I'm in the best shape that I've ever been in my life. And for me, that's a win. I already told myself win or lose when it came down to this. I was a winner because I set myself to do this goal and I accomplished that goal. You know, like losing, losing almost 60 pounds. I was 34% body fat. I stepped on stage at 7% body fat. Like that's no easy task for anybody. You know what I mean? So to me, at the end of the day, I won regardless. So 
I'm just I'm just thankful for the experience and now I'm just ready to move on with the journey and just keep it going. But I really appreciate you guys and all your support and all the love that you have been showing me along on this journey. And we're going to continue this going. This isn't the end of the story. We're going to keep writing these chapters and we will be back. But I appreciate you guys. And I thank all you guys. Hope you guys have a good one. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the page. This does help us grow because I'm going to keep pushing out content to you guys. You know, I got that. I got that fire to keep doing it now, so we're going to keep this going, all right? But that is it for the show day, and I'll see you guys on the next one.